Well, hello everyone. Ogre Twenty Seven Kane here today, and I have a very special guest with me on this review. So let's do an overview and introduce her. Froggo Fourteen, say hi. Hello, I'm Froggo Fourteen. And we're going to do a review of Cat Quest Two for the Nintendo Switch. This is a Diablo-style RPG multiplayer game, and we had a blast. So let's start out with gameplay. Well, the gameplay in this is, as we said, a Diablo-style top-down RPG. But don't let that fool you. Even with its cutesy art style and funny nature, there are tons of puns, but a great RPG to be had here. I really enjoyed the aspect of playing this multiplayer with my daughter, Froggo14, and she has a few things she wants to say. Go ahead, Froggo. The things I love about this gameplay are that one, it's a multiplayer game, and two, I love the cutesy yet very detailed artwork. The other really cool thing about this is how it has a really addictive gameplay loop to where you're constantly looting and upgrading your weapons and armor, and it really only takes money to upgrade one or the other. There are tons of different options and tons of variation to experiment with. The gameplay in this is pretty expected for what kind of game it is, but don't let that fool you because there's a hidden gem underneath and a lot of fun to be had. Well, what did you think about the sense of humor in this game, Frago? I love it. It's perfectly catastic. Ha ha ha. The puns are one of a kind. I really enjoyed the sense of humor too. And it really ranges from a little kid all the way up to a full grown adult. The last thing I need to mention about the gameplay in this is that this game is completely open world. And with its beautiful art style and aesthetic, it really, really pushes you to explore. We checked every little nook and cranny we could find on the island, and there are tons of dungeons to explore and repeat exploring if you want to. There's a certain amount of RNG to this game to keep you just looting the same dungeons over and over. So let's hit the story now. So I'm gonna let Frago handle the story on this, as she's pretty well attuned to it. Frago? It's about a cat and a dog who both have king's blood and, be, and can also be classified as princes. And they're trying to find king shards to replace the broken sword. And then these animals work together in an unlikely duo as both areas generally don't like each other. There's a lot of hate and mistrust between the dog and cat realm and this unlikely duo doesn't seem to be the ones to save the world. But lo and behold, they save the day. What happens next, Frago? Kiri brings you into the city of the cats, and there you find Kit Kat, who later helps you eventually find one of the king shards, which lets you travel to the dog land, and that's where you meet Hotto Doggo. And Kit Kat and Hotto Doggo are how you upgrade your weapons and armor, so they're pretty important characters. The last thing I need to mention about the story is that all the while you're being pursued by the kings of the two realms, a lion and a wolf, who seem to be possessed, and they're both very annoyed with what you're trying to do. So the game has a pretty good driving force, a good nemesis, and a good system for morality, if you would, to the world. The game also has a ton of tropes which play into this as well. So I think we should move on now to our next category, and probably the funnest category the combat. Well honestly the combat in this game is extremely fun and engaging. You have basically just a simple attack maneuver but you have different magics that you can hotkey to your triggers. This allows you a certain amount of flexibility and depending on whether you want to be a magic user or a physical attacker there's a lot of variation to what you're trying to do. You also have a dodge roll and a critical chance and other modifiers which allow you to manipulate and change your character and customize them to what you want to be. Yes, you start with essentially a blank slate on either one, and either one can change back and forth at any time. The real advantage to this is the fact that all of the weapons take a lot of the attributes with them, so you're not stuck to the choices that you made with previous level ups. What do you enjoy about the combat in this game, Frago? I love the lightning magic that I have and how I can attack from a distance and how quickly I can replace my mana by just simply hitting enemies. What else do you like about the combat? I love how your outfits and accessories can actually help with the combat. And this is pretty useful for either class, whether you're a magic user or a physical user. A lot of really big advantages to upgrading your armor and 
choosing the armor that you want to best suit your playstyle early on, otherwise you'll be spending a lot of money on a lot of stuff you won't necessarily need. Well enough blabbering about the combat, as fun as it is, I think we need to move on to the next category now, graphics and animations. Frago? I love the very fluid animation, although it is very detailed artwork. It's very impressing. Yeah, I agree with you on that one. The artwork is pretty outstanding and the animation quality really holds up well. One thing that really surprised me too is the frame rate in this game is very consistent on top of that. It really only skips when there's story elements or certain things that kind of interject with it that aren't really hindering on any of the combat or gameplay itself. Anything else you want to say about this, Frago? I like the hand-drawn aspect, liking drawing myself. The hand-drawn aspect of this game is pretty unique. As you can see here, the characters kind of have a big head to them, but that doesn't take away from the detail involved with them. On top of that, the world fits in very well, although not really to scale, but to scale with all the adventure you're trying to find with what's around. Ha ha. The last thing I really need to mention about the graphics and animation is be prepared to see a lot of the same enemy types with different color schemes on them as this game does reuse a lot of skins. That being said, it's not really too annoying as you can kind of differentiate what areas the creatures and animals will be in. So let's do controls and audio now. So we're going to give you a little sample of the audio here first and let it kind of speak for itself. I think it's absolutely fantastic and all the sound effects and everything works well together to complement it. So let's hear. What'd you think? Kind of speaks for itself, huh? It's really what you expect, but at the same time, all of the sound is really well developed. Now, as far as the controls go, there's really not much to say in this category either, as all the controls are really what you expect from a Diablo-style game. You have your attack, you have your dodge roll, you have your magics, and other than that, it's just about moving and dodging and maneuvering around the enemy. There's not really a lot to say there, and you really can't control the camera inside of dungeons, but you can outside in the world map a little bit. It doesn't really help you, as the artwork is kind of dependent on this aspect. So let's hit conclusion now. I'm going to let you start this off, Frago. What's your conclusion? Overall, it's a very great game, and it has very great music. I agree. This game was a lot of fun, and me and Frago really enjoyed it. I think it's worth your time, and it's worth the money. It's kind of hard to find now from what I understand, but you can probably pick it up on eBay for around 25-30 bucks. It comes complete with Cat Quest 1 and 2 on the cartridge, but we really found ourselves playing Cat Quest 1, Cat Quest 2 the most, I'm sorry, as this game is the only one with multiplayer. Cat Quest 1 is a dungeon crawler with a big open world as well, but it is single player. Expect that game to be a little bit different. We may review that one in the future, but as for right now, we're just simply enjoying all the fun with Cat Quest 2. Well, that's going to do it for today's review, folks. This video was a lot of fun to make. Thank you for watching. It was a blast to make. I upload every single Monday. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. And have a great rest of your day. This is Ogre27Kane and... Frogo14. Signing, signing out. out.